Dear students, by considering the prevailing conditions, the country and throughout the world, I thought of starting the rest of my lessons through a series of video. In the first video, I thought of uh, starting the biological processes in human body, unit 6, the competency 6. In this lesson, you are learning about digestion of food as the first lesson. Why is it important to digest the food? If the food is not digested, it goes in vain, it is not absorbed into your body. So you put it into your mouth, it will be getting out of your body through the anus without being absorbed. For the proper absorption, the digestion is important. For the digestion of food, your digestive system is fully adapted. The nutrients you take with your food like carbohydrate, lipids, proteins are complex organic molecules. They do not dissolve in water and they can't be absorbed directly into your body. So the carbohydrate should be digested into simple molecules like glucose, fructose or galactose. And the lipids should be digested into fatty acid and glycerol in order to absorb them properly into your body. Proteins should be converted into amino acids, then only it is absorbed into your body. Carbohydrates, lipids and proteins are too big to absorb, that's why they should be digested. The process by which complex organic compounds are converted to simple organic products to be absorbed into human body is called digestion of food. In your body, the digestion takes place in two main processes. One such is mechanical process or the mechanical digestion. The other one is chemical process or the chemical digestion. During the mechanical process, physical nature of food is changed or altered. That means large particles of food are broken down to small particles, but really it can't be absorbed, only the physical nature is altered. It happens in your mouth as well as in your stomach. The mouth by four types of teeth, large particles of food are broken down into small particles. In the stomach, by your rough wall of your stomach, the food is further broken down into small particles. During the chemical process, insoluble complex compounds are broken down into simple molecules by the action of enzymes. The term enzyme is not new for you because you learn about enzymes in grade 10 unit 1. They are biological catalyst. They can convert complex organic molecules in food into simpler. For example, starch is converted into maltose by thylene or amylase enzymes present in your saliva. Dear students, there are some nutrients that can be used by the body without any digestion. They are directly absorbed. For some examples, mineral salts, some vitamins, and glucose, fructose, galactose, they are directly absorbed without being any digestion. I told at the very beginning, your digestive system is fully adapted for the digestion of food and absorption. There are three main functions in your digestive system. One such is digestion. The second most important function is absorption and the third function is egestion or removal of undigested food for the feces. Human digestive system contain long canals starting from the mouth and ending up with the anus and together with some accessory organs like liver pancreas and 
गोल ब्लड है तो ऑर्गेन्स इन्वॉल्व इन फूड डाइजेशन आर कलेक्टिवली कॉल्ड एज डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम वॉट यू सी एर इज अ सिंपल डायग्राम ऑफ ह्यूमन डाइजेस्टर लेट्स हैव लुक एट दिस वीडियो टू गेट इट मोर कम्प्रिहेंड organs for digestion the undigested food is defecated the food we take passes through a specific canal which begins with the buccal cavity and ends at the anus this canal is called alimentary canal or the digestive tract the parts of the alimentary canal are buccal cavity or the mouth esophagus is a long canal leading up the stomach stomach large intestine small intestine rectum and anus the food gets digested gradually as it passes through the various parts of the tract digestive juices secreted by the salivary glands liver and pancreas also aid digestion There are the three accessory organs you see: salivary glands, liver, pancreas. Inside the liver, there's another small organ called gallbladder. Just to recall your memory, there are three main functions in the human digestion. First, food digestion. Second. absorption of digested end products and removal of undigested materials the feces from your body this animation doesn't show the whole process of the digestion it just show the path of the food particles passing through your alimentary canal parts of the digestion in the right figure you see the parts have been labeled uh, from a to l part a here is the buccal cavity or the oral cavity b pharynx pharynx is a common area for two systems the digestion and the respiratory system D is a long pipe or a long canal leading up to the stomach we call it as the esophagus then the stomach is a J shaped muscular bag or muscular sac where the food is temporarily stored and partially digested once the food is partially digested the food stuff get into the small intestine small intestine is a very long canal the first part of the small intestine is known as duodenum the second part jejunum and the third part is known as ileum if i repeat the parts buccal cavity pharynx esophagus stomach duodenum and here the accessory organ e the liver c salivary glands g pancreas the small intestine end up by opening into the large intestine as the name implies it is large in size but the length is compared less than the small intestine at the starting point of the large intestine there is a small projection like structure here we call it as the appendix sometimes you might have heard about a disease condition called appendicitis is a troublesome condition when it get inflamed by infection we call it as 
appendicitis the organ is appendix in the large intestine at the end of the large intestine there is a part called rectum where the undigested food is temporarily stored and the end of the digestive system the outer the opening is called the anus just to have a look at this diagram let's label the parts a buccal cavity b salivary glands c pharynx d larynx it is not a part of digestive system it is starting point of respiratory system e esophagus f stomach g gall bladder h liver i duodenum sorry not i j duodenum i pancreas k small intestine l appendix m large intestine n rectum o anus if you consider the digestion take place in the buccal cavity it happens by both methods the mechanical process and chemical process mechanical process occurs with the help of your teeth four types of teeth molar premolar canines and incisors they break the large food particles into small particles physically the tongue inside your mouth helpful to mix the food stuff with saliva and swallow the food it pushes the food bolus into the pharynx the chemical digestion occurs in the mouth with the help of saliva saliva contains a kind of enzyme called ptylin another name for the ptylin is amylase but ptylin or amylase starch in your food is converted into maltose not all the starch is converted uh, some remains and it will be digested in the next part of your digestive system however some starch are converted into maltose by ptylin dear students it is important to know how to write the Uh, conversion or the equation for the conversion of starch into maltose like this starch arrow maltose on the arrow you can write ptylin under the arrow you can write in saliva it is easy for you to keep in mind like this starch is converted in maltose by ptylin after the food is partially digested it is made into small uh, ball like structures we call it bolus and it is pushed into the pharynx the second part of the digestive system is pharynx what you see on the screen is a diagram of pharynx the pharynx is a common part for both the respiratory system and digestive system as i said earlier Here you see what happens at the pharynx. 